Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So I'm here with another podcast and I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Mario Lopez situation. I want to kind of just fall back and see how everything played out and it played out exactly how I knew it would. Okay, so if you guys do not know, Mario Lopez went on to the Candace Owens show the other day. Candace Owens is a really conservative black woman. Kanye West shouted her out about a year ago. She's a big Trump supporter. And so they started talking about the whole gender identity issue and how Shalise Theron came out a few months ago and said that she allowed her son, Jackson, to transition into a girl at the tender age of three. So they were talking about this, and of course it caused a bunch of backlash. I want you guys to go ahead and check out the video really quick, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. If you're three years old and you're saying you're feeling a certain way, or you're, 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 you think you're a boy or a girl, whatever the case may be, I, I, I just think it's dangerous as a parent to make that determination. I'm kind of blown away too and um, look, I'm never one to tell anyone how to parent their kids obviously and I think if you come from Maybe a place- you should though because you yeah. seem to be doing something <laughs> well, right. Well, thanks. You know, and I always say if you come from a place of love, you, you know, you, you really can't go wrong but at the same time, my God, if you're three years old and you're saying you're feeling a certain way or you're, 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 you think you're a boy or a girl, whatever the case may be, I, I, I just think it's dangerous as a parent to make that determination. All right, so you guys just saw that video. And so, of course, Karamo and, you know, so many people were dragging Mario. They were, he was trending on Twitter. They wanted him canceled and everything else. So, of course, you know, in good old true Hollywood fashion, Mario takes his social media to pussy pop and backpedal and basically apologize for simply having a damn opinion. So this is what Mario Lopez says. Mario Lopez says, the comments I made were ignorant and insensitive. And now I have a deeper understanding of how hurtful they were. I have been and always will be an ardent supporter of the LGBTQ community, and I'm going to use this opportunity to better educate myself. Moving forward, I will be more informed and thoughtful. So that is what Mario Lopez had to say about the situation. And to me, I think it's bullshit. I think we live in a world right now where you cannot have an opinion about anything without people getting in their feelings. Now, I said the same thing a few months ago, back in April when this first came out. I did a live stream and I talked about it and I stated my opinion. I did not agree with it. And if you didn't like it, unsubscribe and move the fuck on. I'm gonna go ahead and regale you guys with this flashback. Go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. You know, put on, I guess, any pair of shoes that's in the house. So that's where, for me, I, I had kind of noticed stuff. And then as the years went on, I would see this, I would see her with the little girl with braids and a little afro and a little bun. I said, well, damn, I thought she had adopted a boy. What happened? Did she go adopt, you know, an older child? I, that's what I really thought. I really thought Charlize Theron went and adopted a little girl because... It would be dressed in girls' clothing and shoes and braids. And then I found out that was a little boy, Jackson. Okay, this is different. So, but a lot of people are confused, like, okay, we're, you know, now you have two that, like, what's going on? She went viral because finally, I don't know if it was somebody from TMZ or the Daily Mail, they decided to interview her. This is what they're reporting. They're saying the Mad Max actress Charlize Theron adopted a seven-year-old child, Jackson, back in 2012. And up until now, many have believed Jackson is a boy. Throughout the years, there's been tons of speculation about why Jackson wears dresses, which are often thought to be feminine. Charlize just confirmed that Jackson is a girl. So while talking to the Daily Mail, Charlize says, yes, I thought she was a boy too, until she looked at me when she was not one, not two, but three years old, and said, I'm not a boy. So there you go. I have two beautiful daughters 
who just like any parent, I want to protect and I want to see thrive. So that is what she told the Daily Mail. So this is my issue with this situation. And, you know, y'all you, can get in y'all's feelings. It is what it is. Um, I feel like this. A three-year-old does not know anything about sexuality, period. And I just said that. At three years old, you are barely formulating sentences, okay? So as they're learning speech and they're learning to speak, a child will tell you anything. My kids used to swear up and down they were Spider-Man. Does that mean I'm going to let them, you know, get on the deck and jump off? No. Okay, so because a three-year-old says, I'm a girl, and who knows where that seed might have been planted from, does not mean that then you just turn around and start dressing them as a girl. Like, to me, that's a slippery slope what she's doing. Now, if the child wants to come once they're older and they understand sexuality, at like, let's say, 13, when people really start to understand sexuality, gender, things like that, and says, you know what, because there are people who really internally feel like they were born in the wrong body. So I'm not taking that away, okay? There's people who, there's proof of that, people who really feel that way. So if once they're of age and they're at a conscious and they're thinking for themselves and they feel like they were born in the wrong body and they want to start, you know, dressing like a girl or, you know, a girl wants to start dressing like a boy, vice versa, I can understand. But you're not going to tell me that a three-year-old told you I'm a girl and you just ran with it. You just ran with it. Like, to me, this just comes off as really agenda-ish. That's just my personal opinion. Whoever's offended, so be it. It just comes off really agenda-ish. And this is nothing against people, you know, who have been through things. And once they got, you know, a little bit older, teenage years, they decide to, you know, start dressing as the opposite sex or cross-dressing. Because by then, you know, you had formed, you know, your mentality. You were able to speak for yourself. You were able to say, this is who I am. But I just feel like at three, I got to give that story the side eye. I I'm just not buying it. Maybe I'm, you know, maybe I'm, you know, mean, naive. I'm not buying it. Are y'all buying it? Let me see what y'all are saying in the chat room. Let me see if y'all dragging me in the chat room because I'm here for it, bitch. Let's go. All right, so you guys just saw that flashback. And so like I said, I feel like this is really agenda-ish. I feel like things are being pushed. At the end of the day, a three-year-old does not dictate how they run my household, okay? I've raised not one but two three-year-olds. And one thing I know about three-year-olds, they don't even know what the hell they want for lunch, okay? They are literally learning to formulate sentences. Three-year-olds want to be everything from Spider-Man to the hawk to a grown adult to a girl to a boy. You know, they want to be it all because they have so much information and television and the internet and things coming at them just because the three-year-old says something does not mean that as a parent you just run with it imagine if my three-year-old told me I feel like I'm a puppy I want to be a puppy and then I allow my three-year-old to run around the house and run around the neighborhood naked eat from a doggy bowl drink out the toilet and just you know just just shit anywhere shit on the lawn shit on the carpet just because he feels that he's a puppy I would be arrested for child abuse, point blank, period. And you're not going to sit here and play semantics with me and say, well, there's a difference between sexuality and gender. At the age of three, three-year-olds don't really know anything about that, okay? They're just here to eat, play, and live their best damn life. And I think when you start pushing certain things on children, that's not okay. And I don't care if it's gender stuff. I don't care if it's, you know, these little kids who are on the internet rapping to like, you know, really explicit rap music. I don't think that shit's cute or teaching your kid how to sell drugs or teaching your kids how to, you know, gang bang. There's just certain things that you need to let children just be damn children, okay? Hey, why are you putting that shit in my face? Stop putting that shit in my face and I'm going to ask Hello to the camera. Hello, motherfucker. Uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? Fuck pictures. Don't tell mama on that. And at three years old, I'm sorry. A three-year-old cannot come tell me that they want to be the opposite gender, and I just ride with that. Oh, you want to be a girl? Okay, yeah, whatever. Go sit down. Come holler at me about 10 years when you understand what gender and sexuality is, and then maybe we'll have that conversation. Another thing I want to point out is, you know, when you're a child, especially when you're going through those formative years, you go through all types of things. You have all types of stuff running through your mind. Do you know how many people I know who at 16, 17, 18 got tattoos and now in their 30s they regret it? 
And those are just simply tattoos. Thank goodness we have laser. You know what I'm saying? We can take some of those tattoos off. But my point is we make a lot of decisions when we're younger that sometimes we can, as we get older, we regret them. And I don't think it's okay for another human being to, you know what I'm saying, to make such a drastic decision as transitioning their child when that child does not have the full concept or the full scope of what that means. So I think for people to ignore that or to say that you're transphobic or that you're mean because you're pointing out you know certain things like that is just very very disingenuous and I'm so tired of these conversations where people cannot even have their opinions on certain things without other people getting offended I don't think Mario Lopez said anything wrong the only thing that Mario Lopez did wrong to me was pussy pop and backpedal point blank period if you're gonna say something stand in your shit own your shit don't say it and then as soon as the heat comes and the pressure comes you fold fuck that I said what I said if you don't like it unfollow me don't fuck with me move on but I understand he's Hollywood he's on extra so he doesn't want to bring heat to his show he doesn't want to lose money he doesn't want to lose sponsors I get that but the truth is the truth okay there are certain rules in place as parents your job is to protect your child if a parent was allowing their child to act like a puppy jump off balconies because they think they're Spider-Man, you know, just be out here gangbanging because, you know, he watched too much Menace to Society, so now he wants to be old dog. Nobody would condone that, okay? Like, like let's, let's, let's keep it real and let's stop playing crazy. Nobody would condone that. But when it comes to this, oh, that's mean. Oh, that's wrong. How dare you not let your child transition? And let me point out one more thing before I go. If you guys don't know, uh, Sade, the singer, her daughter is transitioning from a woman to a man. And so her daughter has been documenting, I don't even know how you pronounce this word, phalloplasty. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. I don't know. But her daughter is documenting, I guess, she's going from changing her clit to a dick. I, honey, I don't know. But... I found this really interesting because she posted this the other day. Her name um, is Malika Adu, but she's changed her name. I think she's changed it to Michael or something like that. Don't quote me. But um, basically, this is what she wrote the other day. She says, this process is trying, tiring, painful, emotionally exhausting, physically exhausting, uncomfortable. Like I can't sleep like a normal human being rn lol i often ask myself why the fuck do i have to endure this to be who i am but at the end of the day this is a path that was laid out for me and i'll walk it to the end my dad always says keep your eyes on the horizon and that's what i do because through all this pain is the comfort that it's not forever and i have the rest of my life ahead of me and i'm so so damn excited I just have to remind myself to be patient. Sometimes, as I'm sure we all do, big ups to my mama, papa, family, and friends, and for all the support you give me on the daily, it'll never be forgotten. And then she hashtags a bunch of transgender stuff and things like that. My thing is this, Sade's daughter is in her 20s, okay? And if this woman, who's now turning into a man, is saying that this is a painful process, she's going through a lot, it's it's draining her, it's, it's tiring, it's emotional. This is somebody in their 20s who's writing that. Why the hell would I put my three-year-old child through some shit like that? Now, she's a grown woman turning into a man. If that's what she wants to do in her adult life, that's her business. But I'm not putting my child through that bullshit. And if I'm wrong as a parent for saying that, then, oh, well, y'all have y'all's opinions just like I have my opinion. And I think it's really sad we live in a day and age that we cannot simply have an opinion and simply be adults to, and agree to disagree. No one should be shamed and chastised for having an opinion. He didn't bash anybody. He didn't say, you know what I'm saying, transgender people shouldn't be here, put them on an island. He didn't say nothing like that. He just simply said that I feel like at a, at three years old, it's way too young. And at this point, with the backlash and the way that the mainstream media is even treating this, like if you go on any mainstream blog like E or, you know, TMZ or Young Turks, the dislikes are higher than likes. So it shows that the regular smuggler people out here who have common sense, they understood what Mario Lopez was trying to say. Even the damn people in the shade room had his back, okay? So they understood what he was trying to say. It's the mainstream media that at this point, I really feel like they're trying to push an agenda because that man didn't say anything that terrible to the point where they were trying to push for him to be canceled. So like I said, the only thing wrong I see in this entire situation was Mario Lopez pussy popping and backtracking instead of standing his shit 10 toes down like a man, point blank period. So if y'all don't agree with what I have to say, you know me, honey. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Keep it pushing. 
I'm always going to speak my truth. And how I run my shit is how I run my shit. How you run your household is how you run your household. If I don't tell nobody else how to raise their kids, don't come to my household to me. I'm supposed to raise my kid, okay? If a three-year-old comes to me and they say this is what they want to do, you don't pay no bills, you don't run shit, go eat your lunch. Go watch Sesame Street, you know what I'm saying? Go, go, go sit down somewhere, basically, that end of story. Sit your ass down. Now, if they want to come to me later on in life as adults and explain to me, you know, this is why they feel a certain way, then I'm all here for it. But at three, you don't run shit. If I can't make your little ass go out there and work a nine to five and pay some of these bills because you know, three-year-olds can damn eat. They love watching TV. Your electricity bill be high as hell when you have little kids because you got to keep them entertained. So if I can't force them to go out and work and pay some bills around here, you're not coming to my household telling me that you're trying to be the opposite gender. We're not, we're not doing that at three years old. And that's just my opinion. I stand by that. Ten toes down. Whoever don't like it, keep it pushing. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, honey. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation with Mario Lopez saying what he said and then pussy popping and backpedaling. And then do you agree with me that we just live in a day and age where you're not allowed to have an opinion anymore? And I think it's really sad that we can't even just see other people's point of views and say, okay, well, that's how you feel. I may agree. I may not agree. But it is what it is. I mean, we're just going crazy as a society at this point with this whole cancel culture. And if you don't see things exactly how I see them, then you're a horrible individual. And I think that's BS. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Deuces.